Good morning, fellow Ambazonians. Today, na Thursday, number 24 day for this month of August 2023. My name na Capo Daniel, wuna own countryman, sense past king, Mr. No Connie, wuna welcome to our daily podcast, a program where they bring una the truth. Would they bring una meaningful information, fact-based analysis for help we as with Waka for this journey to our freedom, to the independence of Ambazonia? Good people of Ambazonia at home and abroad, I bring una revolutionary greetings. Would they start today with big international news? Say pregorgin the head of the Wagner PMC group, that means private military company. He then died for inside a plane crash for Moscow on the way to St. Petersburg. Wagner group, he then become a very famous paramilitary private group where he worked for fight for Russian interests. Prigozhin, he then become one of the most famous Russian leaders in modern days apart from Vladimir Putin. He no be up to three days where Prigozhin he appeared for a video for desert for out of uh, Bamako for inside Africa with over 5,000 military equipment them for the Wagner group where the Russian government in Dan Pemitam make it enter for defend the interests of the Russian and the alliances will be created mainly by the Wagner group with Niger as Niger it come under threat of military action from ECOWAS. Prigozhin, he will then be the first person for inside Russia where he directly threatened the power that be, even calling Vladimir Putin a traitor. Prigozhin, he tried to take a coup d'etat after the Wagner group them, he forces them to withdraw from Bakhmut, the biggest success with the Russian people that get them in their war against Ukraine. Prigozhin, he be talk say, the president for Russia and he leader them for their Ministry of Defense that then betray the Russian forces by not providing them what it takes to fight the war. And he also criticized Russian war in Ukraine as an unnecessary and useless war for strategic Russian positioning within the war. If he moved his troops them, they became march for go for inside Moscow, for go take power and for a quote for to move the leadership the way they did for Russia and their military. Vladimir Putin, he be end up calling Prigozhin a traitor and Prigozhin, he then die, and all suspect, all hand in the point of Vladimir Putin, as any person who that always threaten his power for inside Russia, they that end up dying, either them poison them with cyanide or some kind of chemical, the way man no knows how he come out, or the latest one now, now an open plane crash. The plane, he flew for sky, according to video footage, is the way they show him out of Moscow, he no get one of a wing, them way he shows it physically, the plane, it will be brought down, either by an external missile or shot with gun or probably a mechanism where they temper with them inside the plane. But the video footages, it show how the plane it fall with one of the wind them way no day for day. Prigozhin and nine other top commander them for the Wagner forces, their main commander, including the main general, ex-general for, for Russia, where we give that name, say Wagner, when a colonel general, Mikhail Mizigsev. He too, he died for day with Colonel Andre Troshev when I be the commander for the forces that they be the fight for inside Ukraine. And then you also get Konstantin Pikalov. Now, one, now the one that way, he be famous with a picture and day with the tattoo them for the Wagner group, all their top commander them, they then be decapitated. This one, now one of the reason we would talk say, even if bad na bad, as bad as America it be, even at it worst, he still get plenty things them for admire them as one of those countries the way they run live, for example, amongst all the developed countries them. You know, if you see America, they, they kill their own eternal enemy them, or use killing assassinator, assassination for their own eternal rivals. Now, the whole mark that for civilization, even for China, you don't hardly hear say a communist leader, it don't be assassinated because of their differences, or they don't make a make it disappear. This killing of opposition leaders or people that they challenge power within the system for Russia, it be one of the regrettable things um, where they come with authoritarian systems. 
like the one we did for Russia. The thing we will fit take them home for this one, now the logic of the use of force will be in the war. The war is a raw place with the use of force, killing with the most powerful, then be capable for taking anything with the one time for holding on to power, using any means. This type of character is to be alive within us in humanity. And make we know say the international rule based system. Say me them be a law, me them be some type of a standard on how human beings then conduct themselves have been very critical in human development to allow people to live in freedom, live in diversity up to date. It be very important and our people them the need for know this one. Dr. Ebenezer Kwanga, after close to six months or even up, up to a year we lastly address the Ambazonian people them. He then do a live show where he be very powerful and he then reveal for the first time talk about the things and where it really matter for Ambazonia. Most those of us who are in Canada and even those who are not in Canada who pass around that they are leaders because that's not leadership are scared to get down to the continent. It is because of the way we have been prosecuting this war. We think that if we act stupidly, if we speak foolishly, it will make us to be respected. It will make people to think that our, our, our unwise arrogance is, how do I put it, is mark of maturity in going toe to toe with the Republic of Cameroon. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't. I am the first person who took beer and I was attacked the first day I did that and I explained exactly what was going on. So that has been our biggest problem. Our problem where amongst us leaders, some of us, in fact, at times I sit, I ask myself, how do I even associate myself with some of these people? We speak without control. We don't understand that for us to win this war for the good of our people. We don't only have to develop leadership quality as we go along. We have to understand the strength of one another and use it to our fullest. And we should be careful with the way we speak. We should be careful. You cannot go and take a position where you are explaining to the rest of the world that yes, the other side is not respecting the Geneva Convention. I too will not respect it. No normal human being, no man, not even Putin, with all the atrocities in Ukraine, will want to do anything directly or indirectly to accept responsibility for what is happening in Ukraine. What have we done in this struggle? We see people do this. When you try to advise them behind, they don't listen. You come to the public, they sell all types of hawks and kites, who will come around and throw in swords and say, who do you think you are? What are you trying to say? No. It is because if I, Ebenezer, in this struggle, carry myself in the wrong, in the wrong full manner or do something that is not okay, I swear before God and man, it will not only affect me directly, which of course will affect me, it will have a negative implication to the entire struggle. This is what most of us don't understand. We don't get it. We don't get it. We think that I can just come out and do anything. After all, it's just going to be an APLM stuff. It will not have anything to affect the greater struggle in any form. No! Struggles don't work that way. That is why if I go out and I act in a funny way or I say things that are not okay, those in the West and others who communicate are going to make calls to some of you and say, Hey, what's wrong with that man? Is he okay? Why should he speak this way? Eh? Does he know that he's endangering the entire struggle? He's making you people to lose ground? It is not everybody who said those things. It is me who said it. And then they, they will have to turn to others and say, no, you guys have to call this person to order. But you know in this struggle we are all volunteers. Who are you going to call to order? Ebenezer Kwanga was very courageous to tell our people what is inconvenient, but what our people need to know. They have been untold damage, probably unreversible damage done to our struggle by statement claiming Ambazonian do not and will not 
obey international law when it comes to prosecute our struggle that have ring bell in very very high places in the globe i i get a conversation yesterday with one of our mommy them now mommy we did for germany it used to call me one of these old women them i need to ask me capo daniel la republic will go continue the fight la republic you know if you ever win this struggle and i tell that mommy say where well, my mommy it be very sad but i need to tell you the truth defeat for ambazonia you know mean i say the war will end the war as you see and so it will continue for the next 1000 years and even get worse because for la republic they are already win as it stands as the war is stand now so now our people they suffer and our people they die we no go get no international movement towards the direction we imagine say it will come because we're already near the road we're already demonstrate on professionalism we don't spoil opportunity the way they don't get for we and the whole world go should only look we let her a cool man in the look shine meat for we forget a total loss it go mean na say make the most important leader them for ground zero Mila republic to cameroon succeed for kill them that one going to be in a way that call a total loss but loss and total loss there is no different because this loss will even be worse at least total loss people they're going to say the fight it don't almost end for our side we do fight and fight say some people they don't do it they're going to stay for for ground one so one and they for a brother though they can't do some one or two, two things them la republic go to justify the presence of our ideology as the means for continue for the harass people them for all their life they will militarize our territory more and more they will kill our people them more and more you know go ever end go look and for instance sri lanka which way did they do and for the Tema people them till today the sri lanka military then deploy and for that area being go fight that they rebel the way they be fight for independence then still there for day for all man in the mood they did control people them for day they did extort their people them go look and for for Myanmar. Rohingya Muslim them. They, they still control their people today. They, they even control them for inside classroom. Military they can't stand they, they count picking the way they enter the school, count one the way they, they go for outside, charge their back them. They, they, they charge people their back where they want pass to enter for airport. So Meguna as the country it did now so now already lost for we. But because some of these our leader them, their position the way they don't get them for their group. And there are small 15 to 20 followers the way they get them for Facebook. It is shout their name, it make and they feel them being a president, they call them Mr. President, C I C. They don't already arrive. This glory where it be so useless where they get them in this their position and the few people where they clap that they call and say, Yes, you have done it. For them, they already arrive. They can secure it. They are okay. Our people can continue to die for the next 100 years. It doesn't mean anything to these people because for them. They have attained their own glory that they imagine in their own myopic mind. So, for what people really they imagine how defeat it look like, it is what it is in Ground Zero. La Republic du Cameroon, they don't enter for Insa Boya. Stage rally for the whole meeting for, for Grand National Dialogue for Insa Boya. No man, no, I mean, no one of the leaders, they not open their mouth for talking Kang. Even for use propaganda for fighting them, they not open their mouth for talking. What do you think that is? So, it be up to us if we are not wise, if we cannot make assessment and seize opportunity. Yes, I can also feel the initiative we are pushing has gained tremendous backing and will continue to gain the backing and I believe our people will come around because most people have already come around. But if those distractors, those derailers, those misleaders who have put their own ego above the country who have made it their own point to be bringing sin abuses blackmail against others who cannot speak the truth to our people but want to take opportunity of our anger and resentment not to build love for country not to put patriotism but to teach hatred against the enemy which is right but to focus our mind away from love for our own people that they care less about them and they do about their own personal ambition this type of influence so long as it continues to garner skin so long as it is on team will destroy our struggle and make anything impossible last time they had i think i had an interview with uh, eric chamakong 
which was a big opportunity for him to try to save face and take away some of those terrorism, activism, and policy that he has laid forth. But he doubled it down. I'm going to make a presentation to show our people exactly proof of the effect of those things that he's doing. Let our people know. You don't go around pretending like everything is fine and then things are fine. No, things are not fine. Things are not fine. Our people should fight. We continue to fight. We continue to resist. Our demand must be compatible. Our conduct must be on. Uh, it must be compatible. Our practices, our articulation, our narrative must be compatible with international rules, international expectation that is sufficient, that is notable to draw the attention and the type of solution that will benefit our people. If it does not, then we are self-defeating. Nevertheless, we are moving forward. But time to time, we have to address this issue to let our people know what is actually going on. What happened in dictatorships such, such as that of Paul Bia is that he destroys all his rivals, all his oppositions, and let everybody become in a hand-clapping parliament that will be driving the country into its grave, crushing its people and its poor as the machine moves along. That will not be the portion of us in Ambazonia. Capo Daniel, signing off, looking out for you.